Hey guys, so today we're gonna try to finish up this chicken coop. If you saw in the last video from last weekend, um, we started working on that and we were working in the garden a little bit, um, but we ended up getting chased out by rain. Uh, so we didn't finish the chicken coop. Did a little bit of work on it during the week. It's not Friday. Um, so we're gonna try to get some more done on that today and hopefully it, it needs to be done here tonight and I think we'll get at least it done enough that we can put the chickens in. They gotta be out of the house because we're having family over tomorrow for Easter. We'll go ahead and get to that and get this chicken coop finished, at least to get the chickens in there. And then we'll put the, the finishing touches on it later. We're going to paint it, put some trim on it, and make it look a little bit nicer. So let's get working. So unfortunately, it looks like it's about to rain again, so we're probably going to get chased off by rain. So we gotta really kind of work fast. So if I don't get as much footage, sorry, but we gotta get this done. Okay, so the nail gun got jammed. Um, it's jammed up pretty good. I'm gonna have to try to take that thing apart and fix it. So that'll be <laughs> yeah, adventure. Yeah, it's jammed pretty good, so that sucks. So uh, the top board on that nested box is mostly on, so we'll call it good for now. Now we're gonna try to get inside to um, finish up the floor. So it's a little dark in here, but I don't know if you can see, but basically what we're doing is putting down this is just some uh, like moisture barrier paper it goes under the like fake hardwood floors we had it left over so we're gonna try this um, we're gonna put a lot of wood chips and stuff on so they're gonna have to work to get down to this but if they rip it then we'll have to find another solution but this was the free solution so we're gonna try that for now and see what happens so we're just stapling this down um, kind of getting it real nasty and rough around the edges um, and then we'll come and try to put a smooth piece um, over top I kind of did that here, if you can see, it's kind of rough, but then where we could on the inside of this, uh, we put just one nice piece, so hopefully it won't rip it. You know, there's top plate up there, but down here on the floor, there's no bottom plate. And does, I mean, simply the reason for that was I wanted to use less wood, because I used what I had. I think we, no, we didn't have to buy any for this, we ended up buying some for the pig house. So I just wanted to use what wood we had, so we didn't put bottom plates. I do regret that, um, kind of, sort of. I didn't really want to spend the extra money because it's a chicken coop and we're not making a ton of money off of chickens. But if I were to do it again and if I were to spend more money, like if you want to build one and, and actually go buy the lumber and you're not worried about that, I would do a double bottom plate just so then you do have this defined edge, um, you know, around so you don't have you don't have a post out here and going back in. You have a, just a nice square uniform bottom, and if you do a double. Um, then it's going to be twice as thick, and that will help all the, the bedding uh, be more contained without getting up on the walls better. So definitely realize there is a pretty big benefit to a double plate um, on the bottom of the walls. A lot of this is an experiment, so if some things work, great. If some things don't work, then we'll fix it along the way. I'm not really too worried about it, but getting this floor done, so uh, keep at it. We're going to cut some more pieces up because I really need to fix that corner a lot better. I'm trying to get the plastic for the floor. Uh, a little higher up. That way, like I said, with the with the bedding, we're gonna use wood chips. Um, that way, we can pack it in a little more, which will help prevent them from getting down to this and ripping it um, and rotting out the bottom board, which has already started to rot because this this chicken coop has gone on for like a year now. But <laughs> we're getting it done.
is raining. I can hear it sprinkling. Dang, going in there. I'm never gonna get this thing done. We're just gonna have full ground chickens in our house. We uh, put a hole in a bad spot because we drilled from the outside. Probably should have done from the inside. Mistakes. So we got the hole drilled in the right position for PVC. So we're putting in the watering system. Ugh. It's a little dark in here, but if you can see, the pipe's gonna come in here and then it's gonna come around, go down. Then after it goes down, it's gonna come across and then we'll put nipples in and uh, they'll be able to drink water whenever they want inside. And this is a two inch pipe, so that'll hold some good water. So they'll have plenty of water and hopefully that'll work out. So I looked up and it said about 18 to 24 inches for full grown bird off the ground. So we're gonna do that and if the birds can't reach it right now, then we'll just keep giving water in a tray until they get it all enough. So we don't have to keep moving it. Push it all the way in and turn it mm -hmm. a quarter of the way, he said. All right, in and turn it, right? Okay, now this is the part from 22. Oh, you're holding it. <laughs> I was expecting it to like tilt.